least in I, the 19th. I think Doctor Who may know a little. Yeah, he bit might know. More. That's what I was saying. He it's like he might a little bit. He might know a little um, <laughs> history. A <laughs> little bit about Operation New Life. Uh, Doc, as he was one of the uh, refugees who came here in the 70s from uh, Vietnam, and you look at the life he's carved. Uh, it's a great story. Uh, good morning, Doc, and and uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning, guys. I just want to, before we get into it, I wanted to congratulate you just on behalf of uh, the stations at KUAM um, for your honorable selection as one of uh, the veterans of the year for uh, this Veterans Day. Congratulations, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. Congratulations. What was that like? You know, it's, it's really... Uh, wonderful experience being able to sit in that stage with a lot of elderly veterans that served in World War II and, you know, in Vietnam War. So it's, it's really, you, you can see the dedication they have uh, uh, throughout their life there to, to, to serve their country. And it's really an honor to sit beside them. So, um, you know, um, uh, no, I just um, uh, wish them that, you know, um, uh, uh, many more years to go, and uh, again, thank you for serving that country. Uh, it's, a, it's a great country. Right on, Doc. Um, I wanted to, well, we wanted to bring you on uh, just because in talking over uh, like the last week or so, I know that you're really concerned about the uh, booster shot effort, and this is because, like you've been saying, I mean, you were one of the first people to come on and, and uh, be talking about the uh, effectiveness of the vaccine and how, uh, and I mean, it's accepted now, how um, it fades uh, four to six months after you receive it, right? And so what we have now is a lot of our people have reached that window but haven't gotten the booster shot, right? Yes. Um, you know, when, um, there's not much campaign on the booster and um, uh, by encountering a lot of my patients in the clinic, you know, we can see the trend that, hey, we need to do a lot more, you know, Facebook, a lot of media out there to kind of educate our population of what the booster is all about, right? I mean, um, right now, the definition of fully vaccinated is when you got the, the two-shot um, series and then, um, or the one-shot with the J&J, &J. okay? But, you know, um, we, we can see that when, uh, public health put a data out there that um, in Guam because of comorbidity that um, the uh, immunity, the neutralizing antibodies started to go down about four and a half months or so. And uh, you know, throughout the literature, you know, from Israel, and I sent you a, a, an article on Lancet yesterday that you know about five months, um, the, the immunity started to go down. So uh, this is where, you know, um, we need to be carefully and also educate the people that hey the booster shot is very important because you know the, the the people that that get vaccinated december january february or march uh should be already get the booster already because you know your your immune system is now down to about 40 50 percent which is way lower than even the first shot the first shot usually bring you about 70 percent or 75 percent so now the definition for fully vaccinated mean that after about three, about four and a half to six months or so, you're not fully protected. You know, uh, so your chance to get the breakthrough infection and end up in the hospital, especially for people that have comorbidity and the elderly are high. So we really need to explain that to our uh, the population here in Guam that if you have the vaccination more than uh, four and a half to six months ago, it's really about time for us to come in and get the booster because we come in into the holiday when we're a lot of gathering. And this is why we want to protect the, the Monumco, the people that have high comorbidity. So the infection doesn't spread, you know, um, can we have a surge because of that during the holiday? Yes, we can. If we don't really put a lot of media out there, a lot of campaign to encourage people to get in to get the booster. I think I look at the number last night. We're about what fifteen to sixteen thousand people that have the booster already, which is way lower because the majority of our population get vaccinated the first four months. You know, so uh, we're really behind the power curve. So I, I really encourage people to really pay attention. Go talk to your physician. 
and go out there and get the booster before the holiday so we can be safe with our family. Doc, can you just kind of rewind a little bit? Are you saying that if you were fully vaccinated as of July, when you got your second dose, you wouldn't necessarily be considered fully vaccinated currently? You said four months? Um, no, no, no. Uh, uh, if, um, you know, the uh, four and a half to six months or anywhere from uh, December through March time frame that if you look at your CDC card, it should tell you your time frame and then and you should come in to get the booster already. Mm -hmm. If you have one in July, you know, you, you're good until January or February next year. Um, so you, you have, like I said, four and a half to six months uh, is about time to come in, especially if you have a lot of comorbidity. You can see the, the, the article in New York now that um, New York just uh, authorized the vaccination for anybody um, that uh, less than, than, um, than probably uh, five to six months out, doesn't matter if you have comorbidity or not, just because they want to protect everybody uh, during the holiday. So, you know, we used to say that, hey, you have comorbidity on, uh, and you come in and get the shot. But uh, to me, you know, um, like I said, the, the highest positive rate is 18 to 39. Um, that's what statistic and, uh, that we have in Guam. So if you can immunize and let allow those people 18 or 39 to also get the vaccine, the booster, uh, then, you know, uh, we're pretty much in good shape to go into the holiday. So now go out there, guys, get the booster so we can have Christmas and New Year and protect the family. Doc, so uh, you mentioned the number of boosters that we've already uh, administered. Uh, given the time frame that the booster has been available and considering, you know, everything you just said, that uh, we have a lot of our population that haven't got it, uh, could we have done better? And in what ways uh, could we do better? I think we can do better by um, put a lot of campaign out there. We really need to do, we need to use the media, just like you guys, you know, uh, we need to go out and talk to all the radio station, uh, put a lot of Facebook, a lot of things on TV uh, to kind of let people know, right? Because right now we say, hey, you're fully vaccinated. So people say, okay, I'm fully vaccinated. But surprisingly, when I talk to patients, they don't really know that their immune system is coming down. Again, the neutralizer antibody can last so long, but then you need to remind people to do that, right? The, um, the, the, the lens that the, the article that I sent to you last time, I mean, basically it's a huge jump. I mean, a 92%, 90% percent reduction of severity um, of the illness, uh, the hospitalization, the death. I mean, 90% plus a reduction from the second dose and the booster. I mean, it's a huge uh, a study over 1 million people in that study. I mean, that's a, you can't go wrong with that. So the, the data is there. Um, Israel also, you know, um, put the, the data together for their population. And after the, the third dose, boy, I tell you, it go from 400 something to 20,000, 30,000 in, in their level of immunity. So, there's a huge jump on the immunity. So, uh, you know, that's what the booster is all about. And and the numbers out there, you know, those are over 1 million people on the study. So it's not just a small study. Right. So, Doc, then why haven't we, I mean, we haven't had public health on this show in weeks. I mean, uh, why aren't we seeing this effort that you say is uh, very crucial to, to give us a good holiday uh, season? Why don't we have a go out and get your booster campaign? Yeah, you know, we, you see the number go down, right? We have like 20, 30 people now with the car score down below five. Uh, doesn't mean that we can relax. We really need to get on top of everything and uh, and make sure that, that we take the initiative and the step to to prevent it, um, you know, uh, the surge from coming back. And, and uh, again, you know, beside the three W, uh, the booster shot is the one that we really needed. So I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I hope that they listen and, and they start putting some campaign together. Uh, they have money there. They, those, those money need to be spent and, and make sure that the public know. And I tell you, Guam is good. People will go out and do what needs to be done to, to protect themselves, but we need to let them know and put the information out there for them. Uh, all right, doctor. Well, well, quickly, though, before we go, uh, you guys are holding a vaccination clinic for uh, children? Yeah, we have a, you know, we about, uh, I guess, Veteran Day, we have an open forum for the parents. Um, 
to answer the question of concern on the children vaccination from five to 11. As wonderful turnout, it's a very good productive, uh, we look from what the parents concern, um, but we're gonna have a vaccination clinic for the children at uh, Father join us uh, from four o'clock to 7 p.m. this coming Saturday. Okay, and you can sign up on the website, the guamcovid.com. Okay, and um, uh, get the children out there. Again, this uh, uh, part of it is um, to protect the whole family. As we know, children, uh, yes, they don't get in trouble as much as adults. They don't die uh, very rarely, but uh, any, when we lost one children, it's a lot. You know, that, that's, that's, not, that's not right. And, you know, the children can be the, the carrier of the family and affect the parents, the grandparents. So in order for us to have a safe, you know, um, a holiday, uh, we encourage the, the family to get the children out to get vaccinated. Again, we, uh, the physician, a firm belief in the vaccine, but again, it's, um, we also want to say that it's not, we don't support any mandatory vaccination on children. So um, it's, the, it's a parent choice. And that's what the parents should know is that, hey, you have a choice to protect your, your family and your children or not. So to make the decision um, and, uh, and and we go from there, okay? All right, thanks a lot. Thank Dr. you, Doc. You're welcome. Get your booster, guy. Okay. Right, we're boosted in there. I don't know if you could, like, I, <laughs> I got it. I feel I feel good. What do you say, Doc, 90-some percent? Yeah, I tell 90-plus percent. So get your booster and, and, and protect yourself, okay? Right on. Thank you, All Doc. Right. I don't know if it's um, the booster that's making my hair look so nice this morning. Or <laughs> okay, thanks, Doc. Bye. <laughs> Bodies add your hair's bodies. You yeah, get, you get volume. It. Yeah, right. Uh, well, good morning. We're going to take a really quick break, and we're coming back.